fraud is widely discussed and managed by using two separate environments that complement each other, cybercrime forums and the Telegram instant messaging platform. So it's basically a Batman and Robin situation. So what exactly is Telegram? Telegram is an instant messaging platform and communication application available on computers running various operating systems, as well as on mobile environments. Users can easily register on the platform by creating an account which only requires a valid phone number. Telegram has a relatively independent ownership, giving a sense of integrity to users, differentiating the platform from other similar apps owned by large corporations that may harvest data. Therefore, threat actors generally consider Telegram as being a safe to use platform. One of the most common ways of collecting personal information of victims is by engaging in social engineering and operating phishing pages. The industries that we saw targeted the most include banking and financial services providers, as actors look to mimic uh, legitimate websites of well-known businesses or services. Threat actors use Telegram channels as a marketing tool to advertise and sell the phishing pages. Some vendors develop simple static pages that are sold for as low as $50, while others claim to be able to develop fully customizable pages with live administration panels that allow the attacker to control the victim's journey on the page step by step. This way, the attacker can view and request specific information from the victim in real time, including time-based one-time passwords that expire after a specific amount of time, which is usually too short to be captured with a simple phishing page. Information usually captured via the phishing pages include personal identifiable information, such as full names, addresses, dates of birth, social security numbers, as well as payment card information or bank account details. Once captured, the information is sold as logs or fools or further monetized through different methods. In our next slide, we'll see that uh, although logs can be captured through other methods, such as information stealing malware, the phishing pages are considered to harm the organization's reputation the most, as victims' trust is gained much easier when they see the company's logo and branding on the fake website. 